Hello friends, welcome to SQL with Manoj. Today we'll be talking about data types in SQL Server. Okay, for that data type, I'll take you to Microsoft documentation. Okay, so uh, I'll just search on internet SQL Server data types. Okay, so let's check the first link that will take us to msdn.microsoft.com. Okay, and here in this uh, link of uh, data types, Transact SQL, you will get to know about what is a data type actually, first of all, and what all types of data types does SQL Server have. Okay, so first of all, what is a data type? Okay, so in SQL Server or any other language, there are data types that, that defines a variable or a column or an expression or any object like right so in SQL Server we have columns we have variables uh, so that they can hold values we associate them with data types you know for specific values we have specific data types like for uh, integer data we have int data type for character data we have care data type and where care also for monetary we have money data type for time we have um, date time date and time date time two and and and, and other data types for other other kind of values Okay, so now let's go down and see what all uh, data types SQL Server has. So basically, SQL Server has has categorized these data types into following categories. These are exact numerics. So exact numerics are nothing but the numeric data types. Okay, and appropriate numerics are you know the like like floating point and real uh, numbers, right? For scientific calculations, because anytime they are not accurate, right? Uh, date time character strings, Unicode character strings binary strings and other data types so so we'll see them one by one okay going down okay so first of all take the exact numerics right so uh, I have also noted down in my text file here right so these are the numerics so st I'll start with the smallest one and go to the bigger one okay small and bigger with respect to the size of the data type so the smallest data type is the bit it is exact one bit it can contain either one or zero or null one or zero means true or false or null means nothing okay the, it is uh, normally used to store like um, any information that is either yes or no like uh, gender male or female okay or uh, let's say if there is a record that you want to identify it's active or not like so you can have a column is active and you can have that column as a type of bit right so that you can mark that column it's active or not okay so one or zero right you can you can mark it one or zero Tiny int. Tiny int is the smallest data type of integer. It is of one byte and it contains values from 0 to 255. Note that it does not contain negative values like the other data types, right? Integer data types. Small int is it is of two bytes. It contains values from minus 32,767 to positive 32,767. Integer data type, it is of four bytes. It contains values from negative range to positive range right from negative to zero and zero to positive range right so it is it is a bit very lengthy right so once tens hundred thousand ten thousand hundred thousand one million ten million hundred million two billion right from minus two billion and some millions to positive two billions right then we have begin so that you know we have more space to accommodate more bigger numbers if they are not going to fit into integer we can use begin but you know they are going to take more space that is 8 bytes right from minus this figure to 0 to 0 to plus this figure right okay <clears throat> then we have decimal and numeric data types right decimal and numeric data types are used to store decimal numbers like 15.05 okay let's uh, let's check this data type how it is used so for using the data types or variables you have to first declare the variables so that you can use those data types according to the variable value so first of all you need to declare declare at the rate I'll just give a name where okay and then I'll give okay so first of all I'll go with bit right so let's assign some value to it right where where equal to 10 okay okay 
so no matter what number you store it will always store one right now let's change it to tiny int okay and let's assign it again 10 okay now let's see what we get okay so this gives you 10 right because the tiny int ranges from 0 to 225 now let's say I'll store negative let's see it okay so it cannot store a negative number so it gives me this error okay and uh, for int okay it, it can do it okay and it is able to store minus 10 and same with big int okay now uh, let's go with the decimal okay decimal basically has precision and scale okay so let's see how we can use it here okay decimal and numerics both are same they are synonymous to each other so you can use either of the name okay so I normally use decimal rather than numeric just a matter of choice okay so you have to give the precision and scale so so if you're going to store a value that is uh, 100 dot 55 so you have to give the precision of number of characters coming over here right? number of values and dot coming over here right so it is one two three four five six right so you have to give a precision of six and a scale of two to store five five okay so let's see right 100.55 okay let's say you store another five what see let's see what happens okay so it will automatically round off it and it will give you only the scale of two okay uh, similar is numeric there is nothing difference between decimal and numeric but let's see numeric okay it will also give you the same right and whatever it is like from 43 okay it will give you like that okay and similarly let, let's say if you are going to store one two three four five six seven eight again so your precision has go, grown to nine and scale has grown to three okay let's see what output we get okay so one two three four five dot six seven eight okay so to store decimal numbers you have to use decimal or numeric right and the range is this right from minus this figure to plus this figure uh, to store money you have small money and uh, money data types right if the money is within this value you can use small money right and if the money is uh, is, is larger than this you have to use uh, the money data type right so let's go with the money data type declare at the rate amt money okay set at the rate amt is equal to, let's say it is uh, one thousand dollars okay now I'll select at the rate AMT okay so let's see what we'll get okay I got thousand dollars dot zero zero so it automatically suffixes dot zero zero uh, at the end right um, <clears throat> small money is the same floating point uh, data types are normally should not be used for normal you know accounting calculations where the result should be accurate these uh, data types should be reserved for some scientific calculations okay and should not be ever used in uh, normal uh, accounting and financial things right so I'll just skip these okay I'll move to date time the majorly used data types okay so the most used date time or they also call it temporal data types temporal data types right because they deals with date so let's take an example for date time because this is a very widely used data type declare at the rate dt as date time so I'll just give you know assign it with today's date get date okay let's see at the rate dt let's see what we get Okay, see, so today's date is 2015, 10, 10, and it is 17, 20, 17 hours, 20 minutes, and 27 seconds, and 8, 37 microseconds. Okay, and let's say if I want to have more scale, more precision, like if I want to capture this in nanoseconds, what can I do is I, ha I can have a date time too, so it will give me more precision, okay, it gives me more uh, micro nanoseconds here, okay. Now let's go back to our other data types like uh, uh, so date it will only store the date okay and time it will only store the time normally uh, you, there are times when you have to just store the date so you don't have to do anything you just have to change this date time to date it will automatically take the date part right and it will use the and it will give you the date as the output it will not give the time as output okay it will automatically trunk it automatically truncates the time part from this value get date and 
just give you just store the date and the date uh, so let's move to the character string so starting with care right so character strings if you have to store a string you have to give a range with the rare type like let's declare a variable declare at the rate name as care okay care let's say hundred okay now let's say set at the rate name is equal to Manoj let's say Pandey full name okay and select at the rate name okay so this is how you do it okay so if you have to store a string a name you have to use care okay and what is ncare nware care is nothing but it is a unicode data type ncare and nware care and nware care max right these three are the unicode data types which are which are used to store international languages like french uh, german spanish italian uh, chinese whatever language you want to store they will allow you to store those store those and uh, normally it allows you to store more data so it takes more space so if you see here character it, it takes 8000 bytes all of these takes 8000 bytes care and care where care and where care that is the maximum size it can take okay but if you can see uh, the n care and n where care at max can contain 4000 characters right so it takes double the size of the care and where care where care right and uh, the where care is very similar right to it so so while so let's see okay and if you are if you are using an anywhere care so it is advisable to prefix the value by n so here uh, many times you would have seen and wondered like what is this n over here so this is not a part of the value that is Manoj Pandey this n is not a part of value this is just to notify that okay this is a unicode value and you are assigning a unicode value to a unicode data type right so there is the there is no difference in the result because this is not an international uh, language it's just Manoj Pandey it, if you have some other language then you would see the impact here right okay and where care max max is like uh, uh, like we you have where care and where care you have uh, you have a range from 1 to 8000 so it has a limitation to contain only 8000 characters or 8000 bytes but if you have more data you can use max instead of that so it automatically takes 2 GB of space but it depends upon the data that you are going to store if it is just Manoj Pandey it will take only this much space but it allows you to store the data up to 2 GB right but if you if you just generally see the output of this it will give you the same but it allows you to store more data over here okay uh, there are some binary data types these are very less used or you know for some specific purpose uh, one is binary and there is where binary then uh, again similar to where binary you have where binary max it gives you 2 GB of size image if you have any uh, you know like to store images you uh, use 2 GB you use this data type okay uh, so it, it also offers maximum of 2 GB of space okay other data types are you know cursors timestamp or row version now the row version name is deprecated so uh, there is only timestamp that you can use right uh, XML data type to store XML data okay unique identifier to store the goods okay special types there was a special type introduced in I think 2012 that is geography and geometry where you can store uh, geographical information and the geometry information other is SQL variant SQL variant is nothing but it is a generic data type to store any kind of value right okay now let's now why the data type why do you have these data types why don't you know you have just a SQL variant type of data, data type and you can store any language because this takes a lot of space and this takes a lot of processing also and it might impact on your you know data processing so you have specific data type to store specific information and you know these data types also act as a constraint to you know store the data that is only required right let's say if I declare a variable at the rate var as int I cannot set it for a name right check this right it gives an error that conversion fail when converting to converting the var care value Manoj Pandey to data type int so this data types also acts as a constraint it will not allow you to store any string value you can only store a integer value and if you try to store a decimal value like this here 
what it will do is it will select at the rate where it will truncate the value that you are going to store here right see you will just get only one or let's say it is 13.4 you will just get 13 let's say now you are going to store date so get date okay so let's see how if it works or not see again like the same string implicit conversion from data type date time it is not allowed use the convert function to run this query okay so it does not does an implicit conversion to store date as an integer right so it gives an error so data types also acts as I said data types also acts as a constraint so that you know you have a specific values for specific variables so the examples that I have given are for variables but these also holds true for columns okay so for table columns you can also assign these specific data types to store you know the specific uh, values for example when I created the employee table right uh, if to store specific values like employee employee ID I will use integer right employee name I will use where care I'll make sure that okay the employee names will get fit into it I've not seen any scenario where you know employee name goes beyond 100 but if you know in some case it goes beyond 100 then I can even give 1000 right now uh, let's say uh, date of birth date of birth uh, you have a date time column right now let's say you have EMP PHO employee photo you can use image data type right to store employee photo okay let's say you have a uh, employee resume right so you can store that resume as a as a where care max because it can go beyond 8000 bytes and 8000 characters so you will need more space to you know store this resume right so uh, with these particular uh, data types you can define an employee table right uh, the employee table is dbo employee with employee id as integer employee name is where care date of birth is date time employee photo as image resume as where care max okay and one more what we can do is as i, as I told you initially is is active bit okay so we can have an is active field that will tell us that okay a particular record is active or not right we can have it assigned as a bit okay so with these particular columns and with these particular data types you can define an employee table okay so see the table got created and if you see here the employee table you can see with all these different different columns okay so this is pretty much about uh, data types Please let me know your comments if I have you know skipped something or if I have not covered anything that you like me to cover. I'll try to cover it in my next video. Please like the video if you really like it and please subscribe it so that you know you can get an automated feed whenever I put up a new video you'll be able to know it. Thanks.